everyone, Ashley here with Ashley Tilton Art. Thank you for clicking on this video. I hope you enjoy every second of it, if not at least the majority of it. <laughs> I'm so glad to have you. If you wouldn't mind leaving a like, I would really appreciate it. It helps me so much and it allows me to continue to make videos for you. On that note, if there's anything, I mean, if you don't like it by the end of the video, you can always dislike it. That's fine, but um, any comments help, ask me any questions, um, any feedback, anything that you guys wanna see more of, I am happy to hear it all. I love it, and I love hearing from you guys. So, give me a like and a comment, I will answer, and let's get into the painting process. <laughs> Okay, so this is one of two paintings. It's a commission and they're gonna go together. I'm so excited for this. This commission is right up my alley, which is why I took it a month earlier than any other commissions because I, it just, it is what my mind is in the mood to create right now. So it fit perfectly. Um, there's two paintings that go together and it's gonna be legendary for a, a couple who I adore. And yeah, their their family is fantastic. So I'm, I'm honored to be doing this for them. We've been talking so much about, people have commented on my, <laughs> on my channel being like, you only use the same small brushes. And to some extent that is true. And it is a habit I'm, actively trying to work on. I'm a little less risky on commissions. I don't really risk it for the biscuit on ones that people are paying me for. I'm saying this because I'm gonna be using a small brush. Getting ready. Um, in the comments below, do you guys listen to stuff when you paint? Do you watch YouTube videos? Do you watch my YouTube videos? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I won't be offended if you don't, but oh well. Noise canceling. I can't even hear my own voice. That's fun. I listen to Star Talk a lot. Shout out to Neil deGrasse Tyson, your personal astrophysicist. Physics is one of my favorite subjects. No one said artists were normal. <laughs> fact, we have quite the opposite reputation, in case you need it. This is your daily reminder. Go drink water, stay hydrated, go to bed early, make sure you're getting plenty of sleep. Take care of yourself. And I told you, irritatingly small brush. All of you sitting here are probably like, Ugh, Ashley, come on. Whatever, I do what I want. That's half the fun of art. <laughs> In general, this whole piece is gonna be using titanium white, ultramarine blue, burnt umber, yellow ochre, and burnt sienna. That's the tentative plan. There might be a few hues that I have to, I might have to add in a few extra colors over time, but for now, that's the ones that we're gonna start with, and I'm almost positive that I'll get everything with just those colors. To start this session, I'm gonna start with the dirks because that's really fresh in my memory from the lion as far as like where the darks went. We'll start there. It'll be a mixture of burnt umber and ultramarine blue, and that's always any any dark colors you see, so it's gonna be that. I might mix a little bit of yellow ochre or burnt sienna just to give it a little um, heat and warmth to it. Yellow ochre is still a cool tone, but it just depends. I might use one of those, but for starters, we'll start with those colors. Size six, round, Windsor Newton. I don't know. 
No, oh, I'll try it. I'll start with this one, but my my hesitation was just that I might want one that's a little smaller. So right now, the the few things that are the most important for me to think about. One is keeping the shadows low in texture. So pretty smooth so that it doesn't catch a bunch of light. If it does, it's not the end of the world because it's animal fur, so it might actually end up looking pretty cool. But in general, I'll keep it as smooth as I can. I'm going to be working in the direction of the fur. I'm drawing this line here because Again, I'm trying to match the lighting of the lion and then just kind of map it out so that it looks really similar. That's going to have a big highlight right there, so it'll be highlighted. First mess up so far. I was distracted making videos and I realized that that fur, I had it going too much that direction when it actually kind of swoops down. So I'm just going over so that I know that that's the direction that that has to go. This was all very dark in the lion, so I'm definitely not holding back. If there's anything I learned from, from doing the lion, it was to even go darker than what I felt like was maybe right at the time. So I kind of have the first bit of the dark tones down. Things that I'm thinking about with these lighter areas, I can put way more texture down so the brush can leave more marks behind it and it looks better because it's meant to catch more light. There's a lot of red in that wolf. That's great and all. It's just, doesn't look how I want. <laughs> so I might try painting over it. Not all of it, but a good portion of it. And just see how that ends up looking. Kinda looks like he has a milk mustache right now. Okay, Patreon and YouTube. I think I'm gonna tackle this section today. And that might seem like a small area to cover. And you're like, well, surely you have more hours in the day. You get into the detail phase, it can be a little overwhelming to just think of the whole piece as one. I break it into small sections. It keeps me from feeling overwhelmed and it stops me from becoming impatient. So without further ado, let us create art. Maybe. No, we will. I do have to say I'm a little nervous about painting over it. It has to be painted over because it needs to be brightened up and have some highlight spots, but oh my gosh, the fur texture is so perfect right now. <laughs> and that scares me. Woke up this morning with the sunrise in my eyes Just like a new day, a breath of fresh air in my life. I don't know how, don't know why, but I'll, I'll be toasting all my life. Tough tonight. 
Shall we get started on this bad boy? Good boy, good dog, good wolf dog. I have this Windsor Newton artist oil color for burnt umber. I'm not gonna lie. I'm sorry, Windsor Newton, but I really dislike this paint. It like, it dries super fast. I need a lot of it for me to even like remotely feel like it is there. <laughs> um, so maybe it would be a good transparent one to keep on standby, but I really don't like it. And let me shift you. Oh, my mic isn't on either. Am I chaotic today? Yes. Ever it's our show. I don't know how and don't know why but I'll, I'll be toasting all my life. I painted this section dark. How my mind envisioned it, trying to match the lion. It just kept looking really weird. It just wasn't matching super well. So I was like, okay, I wonder, since it's all wet, I wonder if I go back in with some light and just do more of a fade. I actually think I like it way more now. So we'll see. I, I haven't taken a step back yet, but... It's done. The paintings that seem to last forever. It took me way too long to do these paintings, but that's all part of the process, right? I'm a little bit of a perfectionist. And as you saw in both probably the lion and this one, there was great moments. There was moments of struggle. There was moments of doubt. And that is just part of it. It's part of being a creative and I think the more comfortable I get with just accepting that that is the way that it is. But I don't know, the timing on these was was difficult. I don't I'm not entirely sure why they took me so long, but they took the time they did. I'm really happy with how they turned out. The client's really happy with how they turned out. So that's all you can really ask for. And ultimately I would rather take more time and get it done right than rush through it and put something out into the world that didn't feel like it was up to par. So it is what it is, but I don't want to delay the final reveal. So before we get there, if you liked any bit of this video so far, wouldn't mind leaving a like subscribe if you're not already I so so appreciate it and I see you and I remember <laughs> so thank you um, check out our website we have a massive shop update with a bunch of stickers prints originals there's there's a lot to pick and choose from which is exciting and I will give you a final reveal of the wolf itself and then them together because they are, they are a pair and it, that was exciting and a learning experience. <laughs> okay, I'll stop talking. Let's just, let's just cut to the final. Okay. See you there. <laughs> Bye.